Okay, just tell me okay. exactly what you told me. So, so the guys who just came out on the airplane mm -hmm. are very valuable people. They have been running a Bible school for eight years now on their own. And after they did this all on their own initiative, we said, we got to give these guys some training. They only have high school uh, education, but they have been faithful in their little village. And uh, so we just brought them out. And uh, these two guys, Danche and Ismaela and their wives are going to go through a year long Bible training by uh, New Tribes Mission. And then when they graduate, they're going to go back and they said, when we go back, we were going to have a course of our own and invite all the churches to come to give them the training. On the same flight are two Bible translators that we brought out. We have now completed the whole Bible in the Ngalik language and they are doing the corrections with uh, Indonesian Bible Society. And we hope that in the next four or five years, we will complete the whole Bible in their language, get it printed and into their hands so that they can have a strong church and uh, a church that stands on its own. Wow, and what's the name of the airstrip where that, this is happening okay, at? This is, uh, came, they just came out of Silimo, and these guys are about four hours walk away from the station, and we're so thankful that MAF was able to fly in there great appreciation. I don't, how many people were on there? 11 people? Yeah. Little babies of all kinds and so we bought them all kinds of food and blankets and mosquito nets and uh, pray for our guys as they spend this year here uh, being equipped to go back into the jungle.